Hi there. Since you're watching this video, it's a pretty good bet that your local TV stations have rescan days coming up. Or maybe you missed it and you're playing catch up. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Before we go any further, please know that what I'm about to tell you only applies to TVs that rely on an antenna to get local channels. It does not apply to televisions connected to a cable box or satellite service. If you use an antenna to get TV in your home, like these here on top of a roof, or like these that are fixed to a wall or near a window inside your home. Here's what you need to know. Now, what I'm about to tell you might sound a little complicated, but the solution is simple. By law, many TV stations across the country will be moving to new frequencies from now through 2020. The actual day and time when one of your favorite stations changes its frequency is called rescan day. Those are important dates to know. Rescan days. Once you know the rescan days for your favorite stations, all you have to do is, you guessed it, rescan. The good news is, rescanning is easy. Just follow these three simple steps. Step number one, find your remote control. Now, if your home's anything like mine, you have more than one remote control. You wanna find the one that you use to change your channels. It's either the one from your TV or converter box. Now, when you have the right remote control in your hand, press menu. Now this is how the menu looks on most TVs or converter boxes. Step number two, select setup on the menu. If you can't find the option to rescan this way, check your owner's manual for specific instructions. If you don't have a copy of your owner's manual handy, just search online. You should be able to find one for the manufacturer of your TV or converter box. And step number three, choose antenna, then channel scan or auto tune. Your TV will automatically rescan the available signal so all your channels tune in again, right as rain. Once the rescan starts, it might actually take a minute or two to complete. And if the rescan doesn't work the first time, simply try again. Now I know what you're thinking. Is this rescan business a one and done type of deal? Not quite. The TV stations in your town will most likely have different rescan days. So until all your favorite stations change frequencies, you'll have to rescan more than once. You don't have to rescan until these changes take place. By the way, the good folks at tvanswers.org have a very handy way of helping you keep track of when rescan days are happening for your stations. Check it out and sign up for free alerts. Well, that should cover everything you need to know about how to rescan. And if there's something else you might like to know, well, I'm pretty sure you can find it right here at tvanswers.org. On behalf of the National Association of Broadcasters, thank you. And remember, plan to rescan.